back to my YouTube channel. Grab your drink and let's get started. So today's video is gonna be about five things you guys could do if you're visiting Phuket, um, Thailand. I went there last year, March. I have a lot of people DMing me, messaging me, oh, what can I do? I wanna go to Thailand for my birthday. What can I do? This is the perfect video of all the things, well, five things you could definitely do in Phuket, Thailand. And so Adika, to all my Thailand followers, Thailand was a wonderful experience. I definitely wanna go back next year, maybe for my birthday or in the summer, I haven't decided yet. But let's get started. So the first thing you definitely wanna do is a city tour. Um, I highly recommend it. Um, you don't have to book these tours online. You could view the cities um, by yourself, but I would definitely recommend doing a tour with a tour guide, which we did. You get to see um, Phuket from a different view. It's just a wonderful experience. They bring you to some beaches. I'm gonna add a lot of pictures and videos in here. They also brought us to some temples. The temples were so beautiful. I took some great photos and videos at the temples. This entire tour was beautiful. You got to, we got to see Phuket Town. We did a little shopping there. The city overall was just so beautiful. So I highly recommend you guys doing a city tour if you ever go to Thailand. It's definitely a must. On our tour, after we visit the cities and the temples, we had a lot of time left with the tour guide, so we grabbed lunch at a local market. The food was so good. Oh my gosh. Well, the food in Thailand was the best food I've ever had in my entire life. Thinking about it, it's making my mouth water right now. The, the food in Thailand was so good. The street food, this has nothing to do with video, but I'm just saying, like, the food in Thailand, the best. You guys have to try the street food. You have to try the seafood. Go to the local market, try their food. Try the food in Thailand, it's so good. The best food you'll ever have. The second must do in Phuket, Thailand would definitely be the Tiger Kingdom. This is a must, must, must. You guys get to have close interaction with each tigers. It's a wonderful learning experience. It's just, it's a great experience overall. You will get to take some great photos. The cost for this um, activity all depends on how big you want the tiger to be. If you want an interaction with a smaller tiger, it will be a little bit cheaper. If you want a bigger tiger, it's gonna be a bit more. So it's all up to you on what size tiger you want. It's a wonderful experience. You're gonna get to get some great videos and pictures. The staffs are amazing. A lot of people, when I post this on my Instagram, a lot of people message me, oh, the tigers are mistreated. How could you do this? The tigers are not mistreated. They're treated very nicely. They're in a safe environment. They're well taken care of. So you guys, please, it's a wonderful experience for photos. And by the look of these pictures and videos, you guys are gonna be able to tell how great the experience was. Don't be scared. Um, I wasn't scared at first, but the first time I was with was a bit scared. A lot of people are gonna be scared because it's tigers. They could basically rip your head off, but these tigers were so friendly, so nice. So don't be scared, just be calm. They're gonna tell you the rules, what to do and what not to do at Tiger Kingdom. Like you can't really touch certain parts of tigers, you know, you can't really walk like too close in front of them. They'll tell you the rules then and there. But if you follow the rules, you'll be perfectly fine. You're gonna get some great photos and it's just a wonderful experience. Like. My photos didn't come out as good as I want, but if I go back, I'm definitely gonna take better photos. So the Tiger Kingdom is a must do. Must, must, must. So the third thing to do in Phuket, Thailand will definitely be to visit the Big Buddha slash Joy ATV. Um, the Big Buddha is one of the most important landmark and tourist attraction in Phuket, Thailand. The Big Buddha is 45 meters tall. It's so big, It's but it looks so great. It's a wonderful atmosphere. The environment is so peaceful, it's so calm. It's gonna be crowded, but besides the crowd, the entire atmosphere is so peaceful and calm. Um, there is a little dress code to go to the Big Buddha because it's religious um, um, landmark. You can't wear beach stuff, you can't wear spaghetti straps, you can't wear too short shorts. 
but if you're not in dress code they do have like a little shop um area there where you could purchase something but you definitely want to be in a proper dress code could you go in and booty shorts and spaghetti strap is basically disrespecting their religion and their culture but besides that it's a wonderful experience walk up some stairs so beautiful once you get up there besides the big buddha you get to see basically the entire phuket the entire island because it's so you're so high up in the mountains you get to see the water the city it's so beautiful definitely worth it um highly recommend it also <laughs> once the big buddha side of the tour is completed we also got to do an atv which was really nice it's really simple it's nothing fancy you just got to do atv um kind of around the side of the island there is a section of the atv tour where you get to see down below you get to see the water you get to see the um, city it's really also a nice view really nice experience you definitely want to be careful on these atv tours because if you slip over if you cause any damage to the ATV, you will be charged a fair amount. And that amount is really high. I forgot how much it is, but you definitely want to be careful on these ATVs. But it's still a great experience overall. The fourth and one of my favorite must-dos in Thailand is Fifi Island. This is a must-do if you're in Phuket, Thailand. If you go to Phuket, Thailand and you do not do the Fifi tour, do not tell anyone you went to Phuket. This is one of the number one destination for tours if you're in Phuket, Thailand. There's so much to talk about for this tour. You get to see so much. You get to see monkeys. You get to see some exotic animals. And the beach. You guys have never seen no beach this beautiful in your life. Well, I haven't. And I'm sure some of y'all haven't either. The beach, the water, the sand, everything for this, this entire tour was just a breath taken. You got to snorkel, you got to swim. This entire tour, you have to do if you go to Thailand. It's a long ass tour, but you just have to do it. Like, just look at these videos and pictures and then get back to me. Look at that. <music> and videos does not do it any justice you just have to be there for yourself to see it in person it was so so beautiful the entire experience was the best thing i did in thailand well that's the best thing i did in my life basically really was that tour it was so great so the water was just so beautiful like even though i could barely swim I still jumped in it. I still jumped in the water with my life vest on. <laughs> it was so beautiful. And then the monkeys were so great. It was like so nice. Um, I know that for some people, depends on what boat you're on, we do go really close to the monkeys. If the monkeys see you recording on your phone, some I've seen the monkeys jump on the boat and grab somebody's phone and ran back up into the mountains. Yeah, so you definitely want to be careful. When you when they bring you to the monkey island and they bring you close up to the monkeys, you guys definitely want to be careful. Unless you want to lose your phone, especially if you're in like a, if you have like a yellow case or a color case that the monkey really like, they might jump, crawl down. They won't attack you or anything. They will just jump down and both grab your phone and grab, every, grab whatever they want and run back up into the mountains and you won't get none of that back. They warn you guys before they get to Monkey Island, but I'm warning you ahead of time in case you go. 
so definitely be careful so the fifth thing you definitely want to do in thailand you definitely want to do a elephant jungle sanctuary um this is a really fun and educational experience especially if you like elephants if you want to learn about their lifespan their diet you know their sizes what country they're from this will definitely be the tour for the tour for you um, even if you don't like elephants, this entire experience, you will really enjoy it. Definitely recommend it. One of my top favorite, the company I went with was so great. Staff was amazing. You got, they showed you how they feed the elephants, um, what the elephant eat. They showed you how they prepare the elephant foods. You got to take a lot of pictures with the elephant and so much more. And an in interesting thing also is you also have the option to bake the elephant or bathe with them. A lot of people are gonna think this is nasty, ill, why would you do that? But in life, you just gotta try new things and don't be scared. If you're scared to try new things, you won't get too far in life. So I was like, F it, I'm gonna jump in that shit, bathe the elephant and just live my best life. And that's exactly what the F I did. Okay, um, it was really good. It was like, um, the water didn't smell nasty. I'm gonna add some pictures and videos in here, of course. The water didn't smell nasty. We just bathed the elephant and rubbed them down, you know, massaged their face and, you know, the elephant was so happy. And afterwards, we just washed off and went back um, to the sanctuary, in the middle of some different part of the sanctuary where they had like a live cooking show. Um, I, I, I actually, um, participate and help cook for the group I was with. Yes, I cooked. <laughs> I cooked for the group I was with and um, it was a really nice experience. I'm gonna add some pictures in here of the cooking show and what I was doing. Such a great time, so wonderful. And that concludes my top five must-dos if you're in Phuket, Thailand. Um, once again, for every must-dos, um, the price and the website, it will be in the description below. Just click on the link, it will bring you directly to the website. It will tell you more about the company and um, the price and what's included. Um, airport pickups, you know, hotel pickup, wherever you want to pick up from. That information will be in each link that's in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. If you guys have any questions about the tour, anything specific that, you, that I didn't answer in this video, just feel free to comment it down below or just shoot me a DM on Instagram at I am Shandon TV and I'll gladly answer it for you. And bye guys. Stay tuned for the next video very soon. Hopefully.